Yeah, so I, I have been working on the car. Sometimes you just need to take a little step back. I was starting to get a bit down with stuff. It, um, the last design I had on the, the, the front end, it, it had a lot of issues. Uh, steering, suspension, everything like that. So, and clouds ain't looking so great. Through here somewhere. Some nice spots down here somewhere. I like to just come out somewhere oh where God. there's, you're away from everything. You're away from everything, daily life, just the middle of nowhere. And how much more quiet can you get? Yeah, yeah, this will this will do. Yeah, somewhere here. Mushrooms down there. Let's. You got nothing to distract you. To I can just think about the steering, and I can just I design it all on on pen and paper. Just draw it. So I've got a rough design of what I'm going to do when I go back in the garage. Sometimes I wish I understood CAD a little bit more. Uh, yeah, whatever, computer design stuff, so that I could just design it all on a computer. Um, then you can work out all the problems before you've even started making stuff out of metal. Um, but uh, you've got to enjoy the process, haven't you? You've got to enjoy what you're doing. Because I've played around with it and you can, you can design everything in CAD and you just end up with a set of instructions to follow, to make. And to me, that just completely takes all the, the fun out of the fabrication side, because you're just following a strict set of rules, what you need to do. So, or you, you're following a strict, a strict method of how to do it. You've got it all sorted out before. And I like, I like to see it come together. And if I was doing it to make money, that's the way I'd do it. It's the cheaper way. You, you're not, it's not wasteful, but But, yeah, as a process, creative process, I, it, it, I just don't find that as enjoyable as just, just drawing it down on paper or just, just picking up a bit of tube and just holding it up and having a look and, and seeing where it goes. It's kind of like building Lego. It's great fun. Like it's an, it's an enjoyable pastime. You get your instructions, you buy your Star Trek spaceship or whatever, you follow all the instructions, and at the end, you've, you've got your, your, your spaceship. But you wouldn't then go around to everyone saying, look what I made, look what I made, look at this spaceship. Because it didn't come from you. If you then took that spaceship apart and pieced it all together and worked out, worked out what bits you had and, and you built your own, your own spaceship, you'd then, you'd then want to show that to people and say, look what I made, like this is mine. And that's where I get the satisfaction from it. Although it seems like sometimes I'm doing everything twice, and I am, three times, four times sometimes, it is all part of the process and, and it's all good fabrication practice. I hate fabricate, like practice fabrication. Like people will get scrap metal and weld it together and cut it. I, I just can't do that. It's like, it's just, just feels like such a waste of time. So I'll, so I'll rush it. Even though I sometimes redo things three or four times, every time it gets better, every time I learn something, and, even if that whole entire part goes in the bin, it was still practice. And that's no different to just welding random stuff together. So, so I enjoy that side of it. It's, it's not really an issue to me. As we spoke about before, I've flipped the engine round. So I got the gearbox from a Audi A6. There's a Volkswagen makes an adapter plate for it. Um, so I've got that. It fits an OEM starter motor. I've even managed to find a second-hand clutch that will fit this setup, so that's sorted out a load of issues that I've had. It's given me so much more room, I mean loads, loads more room, so really I've had to, to make use of that. So I'm just completely redesigning the suspension at the minute. So I've got a mid plate, 
going in. Oh, it's starting to rain now. So I've got a mid plate, which is just engine mounting really, but the way that's set up means I'll be able to take the engine out and the gearbox will stay in place. So <laughs> theoretically, hopefully the way I'm designing it, engine will be out in a quarter of an hour or less. Um, if I can have a spare engine that I can just swap over easily, I mean, how good would that be? Right, hey, dog. Right, is that helpful? Not sure it is, is it? They've got all the suspension in. The arms are much shorter. They've got much better geometry now. Uh, I can get the wheels much closer in. Um, I've got quite a large range of steering now, which I didn't really have before. Even with the, the standard wings on now, I can still get a pretty good lock to lock and I can really get that look, look that I was going for is the big wheels underneath pretty small wheel arches. I know being fast is the end goal, but you've got to have something that you can walk away from and look back at it and think, yeah, that looks cool. And if looking cool sacrifices a few things along the way, then so be it. I, I find that as equally important as, as making it fast, yeah. Or efficient or reliable. Um, you've got to make compromises along the way and if you don't like the way it looks, you, you, you're, you're going to lose interest. Sometimes it's good to just sit and look at the car. You can just stare at it for hours and hours and, and stuff just comes in your head. That is a good cup of tea. I think sometimes you just need time with your own brain and you just try and work out how you're going to do it. But I've got suspension in place, but I just can't quite get the steering steering to work how I want it to work. It's funny, you learn all of the theories of steering geometry and things like that, and you can understand them all separately. But then you need to work out how they all work together. So it's all well and good understanding Ackerman or, or, or bump steer, but as soon as you adjust your bump steer, it can adjust your Ackerman. So you need to know how they all work together. I, I understand them enough. And you, th you think you understand it, but then once they all come together, it, it, it's quite confusing. So I think there's no better way to design than just, just clearing your head, looking around and, and just let that idea come to you. You know, this couldn't be any further away from being in a garage fabricating something, could it? There's, there's nothing here to distract me. I can just sit here and all that'll be going on in my head will be about steering. So I can just sketch up my design of, of what I think is going to work. And um, end of the day, I'll be, I'll be closer to, to the end goal. Yeah, I think we're getting somewhere, really, but, um, uh, yeah, it's, um, not sure how useful this, this is, really. It's a cow. It's, uh, wearing a hat. Ah, it's gone cold. The tea's gone cold. And I'm wondering why. I'm sat in a field on my own, talking to myself. Oh, that's good.